Hey, this is lesson six, and we'll be understanding color concepts in order to select the colors we like the most and apply them to the final design. On the screen, you can see the four final designs resulting from the brainstorming. So what we're going to do now is to use another layer to add color and see how it looks. Pick a color and apply it to the sketch. There's no need to be precise since we are just playing around with different colors, so don't worry if you exceed the outline. Our main goal here is to quickly create some sketches with color so that we can try out different color palettes. How are we going to select colors? There are different ways. You can have a look at the references you selected and pick the color you like. In my case, I like tones like ochre, orange, yellowish, brownish tones. These are my favorites, so I'm going to use them for my designs instead of more striking colors, such as blue, green, pink, etc. It doesn't mean you can't employ saturated colors, like those I just mentioned. Select the color range you like the most and apply it to your drawings. Guys, when applying colors, it's a good idea to use a, the eyedropper. With this tool, you can select colors you, you already used before. For example, let's say you combined orange and brown, resulting in an intermediate color. With the eyedropper, you can select the same color and apply it in another part of the drawing. This way, we can use complex tones and we'll, and also we'll get an, a harmonic result. With three basic tones, we can get a lot of different colors within the same color palette. That's why I recommend that you don't use similar tones. For example, yellow, orange and red are okay. However, it's better to work with different color ranges for the other sketches. You can use slightly similar tones but make sure they aren't the same so each drawing stands out. In this case, I'm going to work with reddish tones, such as red and light pink tones. Gold tones are recurrent in Venetian carnival's representations, so I'm going to use them in almost all the drawings. Both silver and gold tones are fine, although in my case, I prefer using gold because I think it matches perfectly with the color range I'm gonna use. But if you want to use silver, it's okay, okay? If you're working with cool colors such as blue, green, etc., silver tones are better but it's absolutely up to you and obviously it depends on the color range you're going to use. You can see my references on the screen, but you can have yours close at hand to check the colors. Are you going to use warm colors, cool tones, neutral? If you're unsure, you can always use real costumes references and get some inspiration. Photoshop offers some tools that help us harmonize colors and work with a single color range. So, in case you're a bit lost and want to harmonically combine colors, you can use them. However, it would be better to pick colors as a, at a guess, because as I told you, you can improve your skills to pick a color palette, for example. Guys, there's a shortcut I'm using to pick the color easily. You can see how I do it, but if you press Ctrl U, 
a window, a window will open and there you can tweak parameters such as hue and saturation to harmonize the result. Another possibility is to create a hue saturation layer by clicking on create a new fill or adjustment layer at the bottom menu. Then click on color and use the range color you like. These are just simple tricks that you should take advantage of in case you're lost. Have a look at this design. I'm coloring with red and blue tones. I wanted this contrast to stand out. So you can play around with this contrast to see if you like them for your design or not. In this case, this color choice is based on a picture I found. The result is fine because this is a warm blue, not that cool. So it matches perfectly the red. And I think the result is really cool. It's really cool. I really like it. And you should try it out. Perhaps mix in warm and cool colors and see what happens, okay? Guys, let me explain to you what color ranges are and how they work so, they, so that you can use them in your drawing. The first thing we need to understand is that there are warm and cool colors. Although I guess you're already familiar with this, right? Warm colors are red, orange, yellow. Uh, that's to say, these colors are brighter and evoke warmth. Cool colors are green, blue, purple. Thus, a color is warmer or cooler depending on the tone. For example, a reddish purple would be warm despite of its coolness. Guys, temperatures are essential when coloring your character, so pay attention to it. In this case, I'm, I'm mixing cool and warm colors to emphasize chromatic contrast. However, if I'm going to use warm colors in general. Earth tones, yellow, orange, red, etc. In fact, I'll paint this drawing differently. I'm going to use white as a color base for my design. Then I'm going to add warm colors such as earth tones and gold. However, any option is welcome. In fact, you'll realize that real costumes are all of sorts of colors. So the color scheme you choose is entirely up to you. In case you are unsure, about which color scheme to use, you can play around with completely different color concepts to check which one is more suitable for your design. Green tones, blue, etc. So try out different options and decide which one you prefer. But if you want to play around with color concept, I recommend that you choose completely different schemes. At first, you may think that all colors are quite the same. However, they actually work. In many occasions, Venetian costumes use the same colors or similar color schemes. This time, I'm working with ochres and yellowish colors with different tones. As you can see, the background is white now, but I'm going to turn it gray later on, so our costume design stands out. Well, guys, our designs are colored. So now what we are going to do is first to observe them and then select the color you like the most. In the next lesson, we are going to take our design to a canvas. So the basic color concepts are ready and we're going to start working with the final design, which is what we are going to do in the next lesson. I hope that you find it interesting and see you there.